Out of sex. Guitar. Drama. <laughs> Everyone. It's showtime, folks. Welcome, welcome to Into the Music. Come on in. Hey, that's Andy over there waving. How you doing, Andy? I'm doing great, Greg. How are you? Uh, you said my name. I I, I want to be incognito. That's why I okay. put Into the Music. So Sorry, I am, Into the Music. I am. <laughs> that's what I meant to say, of course. <laughs> no, it's out. Everyone knows Greg. I might as well change it back. Anyway, uh, enough of that nonsense. How you doing? How you doing today? Good, good, yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. So you got something for me? You got something? Yeah, yeah, I do. A um, uh, little live performance action, fingers crossed. We know how that goes. Um, this one is called uh, The Last Crusade by the Sam Roberts Band. Never heard of the Sam Roberts Band, The Last Crusade? Yeah, no. Cool. No, All right. cool. All right. Um, what genre is it? Now, see, I shouldn't ask that, right? You just uh, kind of don't give me anything, just... right? Don't give me anything. Chris would never give me anything. Okay, okay. It's I up to you, though. You. It's up to you, though what's saying uh, i would like to hear what your opinion is but i think it's kind of like just your classic run-of-the-mill rock and roll song but there's some other elements in there maybe a little blues action or something but tell me what you think i will Love it descending already. Already I'm loving this. Crusaders in their studios. I renegade rulers. I spotlight fugitives. I shake I you movers. I cut through feeders. Any small time users. I turn cold schemers. I you victims? Are you losers? Baby, can you play the part? Give up and you soldier on. Since the last crusade we're on. Since the last crusade we're on. Mmm. Oh, I love that. <laughs> There's a light out on the back to show. Gotta fight now. Never back to more. With the back to Bass, the bass, the bass is so good. I love it. Just driving this rhythm. Ah, oh, it's so good. And sax. Out of sex. Oh, 
Guitar. Drama. <laughs> Everyone. I love that part. I got to bring it back. All the musicians. I was calling out each one. They were just kicking ass. Each one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Sam Roberts Band on Audio Tree Live. Hey, hey. Look who's back. Hey, hey, Better hey. Than ever. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I uh, think. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that this is your best song that you've given me. What? Really? I think so. Wow, I love it. I mean, I, I love this song, but that's awesome that it hit with you like that. I mean, you probably picked up on uh, over the months, year or so, you know, with um, probably outside, you know, sort of outside looking in and then being part of this kind of maybe picked up on a lot of stuff that I gravitate to. Um, this is very simplistic, very nothing's complex. It's just got great, great guitar sounds, great band involvement. It's rock and roll, like you said, on the other side. Nothing complex. It just had, and his flow, you know, and his rhythm. Uh, the rhythm was just, and I loved how it built. There was actually also in the very beginning, it, it introduced the sort of descending line. I mm -hmm. love that. That was so good. And then the guitar starts coming in, you know, and then the band kicks in and the bass stuck out to me first, right? There was the bass, the bass, the bass. But then you got, then you got the sax <laughs> and the sax was so good. You know, he's not doing anything crazy, but everyone had like that. Like I said, nothing complex, but everything fit and yeah. everything sounded so good. You know, yeah. the production that was coming, production, I guess, but the sound, however they, you know, uh, assuming, right? Understanding that that was a live performance. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was coming out beautifully as, as though it was kind of being produced. Um, but the sax was gorgeous. Um, the drumming actually was, you know, it started to sort of get my attention more and more, you know, with the bass and the drums and the rhythm sec section. Um, but uh, I mean, if I had to give an award, I probably would give it to the bass probably out of all of them. But yeah. it, it, they, it was just a relaxed, enjoyable rock song. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's timeless in its sound. It really is. Like it could be good. You no know matter how to way. articulate things. You could put, you could, you could just, I got to give 50 words, you know, like a whole, a whole page and you just come in with three or four words. Uh, and yet my videos are always super long. So, <laughs> <laughs> so. 
but you're you're it is it is a really timeless tune it's the the ah man that i'm pretty sure like that baritone that deeper saxophone oh like just that the air the whole level of sound and, and depth it adds to the yes. song it's yes. so good it's so good and where i even struggle as a bass player to, to, to like fully commit to your judgment because i'm like man that saxophone though um but yeah, it is a great song. Good, like a good voice carries the tune. All the the lyrics are really good. The subject matter, um, yeah, ah, it's just a it's just an instant classic. The moment I heard it, and I downloaded it, and I wasn't even familiar with Sam Roberts until I heard this song. And from what I understand, he's a Canadian musician. He operated under Sam Roberts for like the first ten or twelve years of his musical career. Then the first album they put out, Collider, on which this appears, was the first time he he absorbed the band. So it's the Sam Roberts band. So um, maybe that is indicative of the the fuller sound or yeah, the, the maybe company m- music and everything. But yeah, I heard this song. And I was like, damn, this is a just even if this is the only song I ever hear by this guy, this is an amazing tune. Um, and it's really hard to find stuff on this guy on on YouTube and the band, but. I found this and I was like, ah, I'm going to take my shot. I'm going to shoot my shot on this one. And because I think Greg really needs to see what this all looks yeah. like done together. And it was, it's just a beautiful song man. it really is a great well, song. And it really is. In fact, you, you, you call it beautiful. And it's interesting because, you know, when, when, when I say it's comp, it's not complex, it's kind of simplistic, you know, and it's just like a rock sound. And there's just, you know, like, that could be borderline oh like this is formulaic maybe you know we've heard this before you know it's something but it's a, and it's interesting because it kind of is cut from it cut from its own cloth mm. you know which is really interesting so and i think that's why i think this is your best song to me so far you know and well, that's not by miles i mean you've given me some really good stuff but this right. was just something that i like just off the bat like the i mean to me i judge it based on like the first five to ten seconds the first 10 seconds i was like I'm, yeah. I'm loving this you know i'm you know i think i might have actually said that i think i stopped the video to say that so uh oh, yeah. that's great. so you got to go with the with the honest emotions you know coming out and and that was it um i love the lou reed was that lou reed that was on the t-shirt the the drummer I, some guy's yeah, face so yeah 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 that was kind of cool yeah it is kind of cool and it shows they've got good taste right <laughs> but yeah and, yeah and i think i think you're right there is this familiarity with it that leads where you just say contemplate oh is this formulaic or what have you but there's also like you said it's very much its own sound absolutely Um, and and the way they can they can balance that or strike that balance where you you want to listen to it more because it is an accessible sound that could appeal to many people it's not some cookie cutter you know radio garbage either um so it's yeah i i thought oh man this one because of its timeless nature, I know it's going to hit with all different kinds of generations and demographics that hear it. They're just going to be like, "Oh man, this is good." So it's it's really cool that you that you that it, it hit with you. And I think they decided not to because I'm interested in hearing the original audio version of the song, but they didn't. There was no crazy solo. You know, it was really the rhythm guitar. You know, when you mm. think about it, everything else is rhythm. I think it's all the song that was ry- rhythm. It's just, he stayed really within that, you know, and his guitar work was really, it was pretty. Yeah. You know, what he was very. coming up with it was so good. But again, it's like, they really stayed sort of true. And, and then, so yeah, um, absolutely. This is going on my, uh, my own personal playlist. Cool. Well, cool. I'm glad we've graduated to that level. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> it took you 50 songs. No, <laughs> right? Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Uh, All right, cool, man. All right, so yeah. uh, so I'll take us out and say, Andy, okay. thank you. And to everyone out there, what do you think about the Sam Roberts band, uh, The Last Crusade? Um, Andy says there's some other songs out there, right? So yeah, it, what I would say go you check out, out there? This album. Yeah, what say you out there? You know, what do you think? What should be the next one? that Andy should be giving me for this, uh, for this band. And with that said, oh, and also let us know, like, you know, what you think is the big difference between Sam Roberts before the Sam Roberts band. I'm really interested. And with that said, we'll see every one of you on the next episode of Andy, finish it off. Into the music. See ya.